In this video, I will show you how to find a data value for one person if you're given three things. The z-score that corresponds to that particular value and the mean and standard deviation of the population. Here's an example. In the United States, females' heights have a mean of 63.7 inches and a standard deviation of 2.7 inches. If Rebecca's height has a z-score of negative 0.85, how tall is Rebecca? Here's the formula for z-score. A z-score is equal to um, the value of one person minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Okay, so in this, uh, and you will see that abbreviated in this way. The z-score is equal to a particular person's value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. That's the same thing in symbols. Now, we are given three out of four variables, and we're being asked to find the fourth one. So let's see. The mean is 63.7. So in this formula, that would go right here, minus 63.7 inches. The standard deviation is 2.7. That goes right here in the denominator, so 2.7 inches. The z-score of Rebecca's height is negative 0.85. So the z-score goes here, so negative 0.85. All we're missing is the value, the individual value. And that is what we are being asked to find. How tall is Rebecca? Rebecca's height is this specific value. And that's what we're being asked to find. So I'll just go ahead and put this x here. So all I have to do is solve this equation for x, and that will be Rebecca's height in this problem. So this is really an arithmetic problem. Um, to solve this, I would multiply both sides by 2.7. All right, that's going to cancel these out. So that's negative 2.295. All right, so now I'm going to add 63.7 to both sides to get x by itself. So this number is already here, so I want to add 63.7, so I'll just hit plus 63.7. Um, so there you go, 61.405. Okay, now imagine this was a multiple choice question, uh, you know, because it was. Okay, that's why the correct answer, uh, uh, considering these multiple choices, would be this 61.4.